Always check your chain tension before cutting. If the flats on the chain hang out of the bar groove, it needs adjusting. Now for some totally obvious tips from our legal department. Make sure you turn off the saw and make sure the chain is stopped before checking it. And wear gloves. Now we know you know, but you know, somebody somewhere didn't. New chains always need to break in a bit, so be sure to adjust it within the first five cuts. To adjust, first disengage the chain brake. Loosen the bar retaining nuts, but don't remove them. Hold the guide bar tip up and rotate the tensioning screw clockwise with the screwdriver. The right tension depends on the chain temperature. If you haven't started cutting yet, the chain should fit snug against the guide bar. If the saw is warmed up, the drive links should hang approximately 1 16th of an inch out of the guide bar groove, or 1.3 millimeters metrically speaking. After adjusting, lift the tip of the guide bar up to check the tension. If it's still too loose, keep turning the tensioning screw clockwise until you get there. If the chain gets too tight though, it won't rotate at all. So turn the tensioning screw a quarter turn counterclockwise. You should be able to turn the chain by hand without binding. When you've got the right tension, make sure you're holding the guide bar tip up and tighten the retaining nuts. Ah, much better. When your chainsaw cools down after use, the chain tightens up, and if you just tightened it before cutting, you can damage the saw. That's why it's good to loosen the chain a little after you're done. After you've piled up a good amount of wood, and you know you will, the bottom of your chain bar will have gotten an unfair amount of wear and tear, so every so often, flip the guide bar upside down when you tighten the chain. You'll get more mileage out of the bar that way. Any other chainsaw questions? Click one of these.